Happy Harry Day! <laughs> happy Harry Day! Happy Harry Day! Happy Harry Day! <laughs> Good morning, everyone! Actually, it is not the morning, it is 12.30. I can't even be expressive because I have pit stains. You guys haven't seen Madison in a vlog for a year, but... That was when we met. Today, I'm going to see Harry Styles again. It is going to be my second time seeing him in concert. I saw him in London. It was very fun, but I was really far away. Like, I could only see him on the screens. He looked like a little baby ant. Today, I have pit tickets, and Madison Square Garden has a 360 stage, which means you have a very, very good chance of being really close, oh. no matter where he is on the stage. So, and you can move around. So that's my goal. I actually was supposed to wake up this morning, crack of dawn, like 3 a.m. But I didn't. I was going to get in line really early, try and get a wristband so I could get early entry, so I could be closer. But I saw so many TikToks last night of people saying like, you don't need to. Like, I got here at 8.30. Look at me. They're like right up in his business. I will be in his business tonight. He texted me like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and was like, I'm really sad. I don't even know what it was, but you were really sad and you are like, well, I just spent six hundred dollars on Harry tickets. So. I literally was complaining about not having any money, and then I yeah. But look how happy you are. Look how happy I am. This is the happiest I've been in weeks. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm going by myself. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to vlog that experience because I'm actually really fucking nervous. I do have really bad social anxiety. I'm really excited though. It'll be good. But I don't know what I'm wearing yet. <laughs> Ignore my comb over, I'm trying to dry my bangs. We're trying to get Michaela a ticket to the concert and we found some on Twitter. Twitter is a scary place, I know, but she sent us a screen recording. Everything looked legitimate. We sent her half the money and then she's like, oh, it's not my account. She sent me a screenshot of her email saying that it was gonna be refunded back to me because it wasn't working with her thing. So I called my bank and they said that it was received perfectly by her bank. Yeah, so basically we're trying to still get the ticket because we know she has it and it's not a fake screen recording like it couldn't be because she went out of the messages and into her Ticketmaster account we're, tr we're trying because please i'm sorry sorry my ass i'm like i literally i'm about to be you guys look at my bangs look how long these are i want to cut them and i want to cut them shorter like but i'm really scared to fuck it up before the concert but i think i should do it because look at this i can't do anything with these i'm gonna do it i'm really scared Okay, they're uneven. See what I like fucking stiff it now. Fuck. I look like coconut head. Alright, I did it. Not that it looks bad, but I don't have any makeup on the rest of my hair isn't styled. I had bangs like this when I was a kid. Long hair, you guys. Long hair. I need to do my makeup because I don't know how I feel. Chicken. It's 5.19. I think doors open at 7. I need to hurry up. I also just started on tretinoin for my skin and it's making me peel. Very peely girl right now. And I'm just hoping that my makeup goes on correctly. Okay, what's the update? Is that email's fake then? Yeah, the email itself yeah. is probably fake. No. Did you hear? I was like, whoever reads it gets a good laugh. You can buy stuff on Twitter? <laughs> oh my like, god, yeah, girl. Like, apparently not. Whoever reads the screenshots of the DMs and Michaela was like, <laughs> I was like, you're gaslighting me! <laughs> I know this sucks, but you just took a criminal off the streets. Why didn't she just like block you after she got the money? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. That is the weirdest case of scamming that I've ever experienced. Okay, bangs are fine, they're cute, but I literally have no idea what I want to wear. This is really cute, but my coochie's out a little bit. It's comfortable, you know, I'd feel good, but also I'm very muted. Everyone's gonna be very bright. Like I said, I'm borrowing masks and stuff and she doesn't have a lot of bright stuff. I need to figure out what I'm wearing in the next like literally 10 minutes because I need to leave because the doors are about to open. And since I didn't go get a wristband, I don't want to be in the back. I'm nervous. Okay, everyone, final look. <laughs> it's not your typical Harry Styles Love on Tour outfit, but it's what I feel comfortable in, all right? And we're gonna leave because I'm pretty sure the door's already opened and I still want to get a good spot. I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared to go by myself. Also, if they don't let me bring my camera in, I'm fucked. I actually have so much anxiety about <laughs> going to this by myself. Like, am I gonna talk to anyone? Is anyone gonna talk to me? Am I gonna be isolated? I just saw a full human shit on the ground on my walk over to Madison Square Garden, so that was really fun. Now I'm gonna meet people and I know they're gonna be nice, because like, Harry's are nice, but I'm so nervous. My anxiety is through the roof. <laughs>
don't know what to do with myself now from this point on. I literally, I took so many cute photos of him too. I have so many photos. I need to go through everything like tonight. I'm just gonna stare at my phone and my camera for the next like hour. Um, but I have a video on my phone of him singing medicine and literally staring oh, into my soul. Yeah. Turns out going to a concert by yourself is not that scary. <laughs> you look at that. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I actually made friends with the the parents next to me, so that was that was nice. I don't know what to do. I'm sitting on the floor, going through all of the photos I took. You guys. Also, cutting the bang short was a move. I I like it. <laughs> I like it now. Like, actually, I don't think you understand. Come on, I haven't even looked at the video footage. I've only looked at the photos and I'm like gagging in the best way possible. I need to change into pajamas and take my makeup off, even though my makeup's really cute right now. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna cry myself to sleep, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, my pit ticket was really expensive and I was like kind of worried about it because I was like, god damn. But I'm so glad. Like it's the best, that's the best money to spend. Like actually. You guys, I'm so happy. So much for taking like an hour to blow out my hair just to put it up in a claw clip and now it looks like this. Heat damage for no reason. But I do love the bangs. I love the bangs. I've been wanting to cut them short like this. Honestly, I'd go shorter. It's very uneven right now. I don't give a shit. I like them. Now it's time to bleach my eyebrows. Not today, guys, not today. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, then you may not know that I am getting a kitten next week. And honestly, I'm still riding my high from my concert. And I know that the post-concert depression is gonna hit because I already have real depression. Now this is just gonna... But getting my kitten is going to make all of that float away all my worries but really the concert was so amazing like i said i was really nervous to go by myself if you've seen my other videos i make an effort to do things by myself because my anxiety is so bad and it's just debilitating sometimes when i do stuff by myself the bigger steps i take the more i'm like oh if i can do that i can definitely do that and this was the next step on the ladder i mean i didn't make any friends that was falsely advertised oh yeah you make a lot of friends no, I didn't. I did talk to the parents though. And then one one really nice girl actually. But I'm probably never gonna see her again. Guys, these are actually uneven. That's so funny. It's so crazy that you spend so much money on a concert and you go and you're only there for an hour and then you get back and you're like, did I black out? Because I don't remember. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, don't be on your phone, live in the moment, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, if I didn't take videos and photos, I, I wasn't there because I don't remember. I get so excited that I just black out. I had so much fun. Now that Harry Styles has made eye contact with me, I can um, I can die happy. You guys know how much I love that man. I hope you enjoyed the, the videos I got of him and the pictures. I go to bed now because it's like two in the morning. Okay, mm, love you.